Hello, and welcome back to the Mythic SMP. This is Season 1, Episode 21, and today, guys, we are going to be building the gate for our base. So, without further ado, let's get straight into today's episode. Alright, so, right off the bat, you might have noticed this massive hole, and this hole was dug out off camera. Pretty much what I did is I made it flat, because <laughs> that's pretty much all I'm doing at the moment. Uh, but yeah, so I got it all flattened out and I'm going to be terraforming up these hills as I said in the last episode I did a little bit of work on designing this in my testing world and I'm gonna show you that in a minute But this is pretty much just the layout and I have a new friend I'm thinking his name should be Harold, but I want to know what you think the name should be in the comment section I'm a huge fan of Harold though for some odd reason. I don't know. I just I've always named things Harold and uh, he is going to be no different, so hi Harold. But uh, yeah, so I have a horse now and I'm going to show you what I designed for the gate. All right, this is what I was thinking for the design of the gate. I had a little bit of help uh, from people on the Mythic Discord. I asked you guys some little, you know, what I can do to make it better and I pretty much tried to do as much as I can, but I am actually really happy with this and this is what I meant by steep hills. Pretty much you can't jump over it. Uh, but yeah, so pretty much I need to decide whether I'm going to do oak for the wood or spruce. And I'm pretty sure I want to do oak just because it looks slightly better. Uh, the spruce is just a little bit too dark. And I did already gather up some oak wood. I might do oak. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to see what I'm going to be doing. But overall, I am pretty happy with this design. And I'm going to go and build it on the mythic server right now. Okay, so pretty much I'm back on the mythic server now and I have the bottom half of the template complete and now I'm going to start making my way up and then I'm going to terraform up these hills and overall it should be a pretty easy process, pretty lengthy though because I'm going to have to keep flip flopping between my testing world and this world. Uh, but yeah, so I'm going to be doing that and I'll see you in about uh, halfway through this. So I will see you in a, I'll see you in a minute. Alright, so I have a little bit of it done. I just added up the framework and the actual like walk path thing that you want to talk about. Um, pretty much, I did a little bit of terraforming over here. Obviously, I still have to do the cliff sides. Uh, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it and I gotta keep building. I think I'm going to start with the cobblestone walls and then just kind of make this a solid object. I did, however, notice that I accidentally made it two blocks too thick. Uh, but honestly, that's probably for the best because it's just wider up there and it's probably going to look a little bit cooler. So yeah, I'm going to see what's going to go on with that and I will be back in a bit. I don't know. I totally messed up that last bit. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to fill in these walls. All right, so I filled in the walls now and it's looking pretty good. I'm now going to start terraforming up these hills right here and, you know, just making them how they looked in the testing world. But yeah, I'm actually getting really happy with this. I can see the end product. And uh, overall, it's really, yeah, I'm just happy with it. And I'm glad that I actually made it wider. I might actually run a, um, a little tunnel going through here. That might be cool. I'm pretty undecided at the moment. But again, overall, I'm super happy with it. And I'm going to start terraforming. Okay, so I've got the terraforming all done now. I think I'm going to work on it just a little bit. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to let the grass grow. Because obviously it's looking a little bit splotchy at the moment because I didn't place down grass blocks, I placed down dirt blocks. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to wait for it to grow. Also, we have a little bit of a friend right here, and uh, I think I'm just going to leave him. He can stay there. Uh, but yeah, so, you know, I got to let the grass grow. But pretty much, I'm done terraforming, and I think I'm going to head over to the Cake Factory over in the Shopping District. I have not checked it out yet. It's a build by Cinnamon. It's a shop, and I'm just going to go over there and show you that right now. Okay, back over here at the cake factory, and first off, this looks, I don't know, it just, it looks insane. I really wish I could build like this, but unfortunately I can't. But yes, this looks awesome, and it's just, I don't know, it looks great. I, I really like it. And then if we come over here, um, I don't really know where the rules are, but uh, I'm just going to find them and then I'll show you where the rules are. I got to find the rules. Okay, so I figured it out that uh, you got to throw a diamond on the last gray carpet, which I'm assuming is this one. But over here, I couldn't help but notice observe redstone if you wish. And of course, we want to look at the redstone. And I think I know how he did this. I was talking with him uh, in the last episode off camera. I was talking and uh, yes, so that is pretty much just the comparator. And I know that bit. I do not understand this, though. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I have no clue what's going on here. I do think that it's a randomizer because you can get presents or gifts. 
or rewards on every 25th cake I do believe I have no clue how that works actually um, but yeah so I'm gonna try this out I'm not gonna go in there just in case uh, but yeah so I'm think I just need to throw a diamond where's where, where's my under chest all right so it turns out that the little bugger was actually right here uh, but yeah so I'm just gonna throw a diamond on there all right I get a cake and then I think I have to place it down right here Ooh. All right, so I get some ingredients. Okay, wait, and then, all right, I just break this. So I think the way that it works is it's kind of like, I don't, okay. And then, wait, I think, I don't remember how this works. He, he was explaining to me. I think I get free ingredients right here. And then eventually I'll get a prize. I think for every 25 and it's just kind of built up but obviously uh, it's not looking so hot right now uh, one more we'll do one more we'll do one more okay um, you know what we'll, we will do one last one okay we'll do one more okay all right yeah I don't think I can afford any more cakes but this is a really cool system I actually am really impressed with this Congrats to um, Cinnamon because I think he built this for a hundred subscribers. So congrats for that uh, But yeah, so this is actually a really cool system and I really wish I knew how it worked uh, But yeah, so that's the cake factory and I'm gonna head back to my base now All right, so unfortunately that is all the time I have for today. Uh, I've run out of time It's like 2 a.m. Pretty much and uh, I've got to edit this video and put it out for tomorrow uh, but yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. Comment down below what you want to name the horse. I'm going for Harold, but if you have any suggestions, then just leave them in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say, and I will see you in the next one.